Hey, Dana here and welcome to our Pilates and stretching sequence that I have for you today. You may wish to grab a yoga block and a towel. This will help those of you that maybe suffer from sore or weak or injured knees and also for those of us that have lower back problems and tight hamstrings and find it hard to sit up nice and straight. Okay, well we're going to get started on all fours. So if you need to pop a towel underneath your knees, feel welcome. And if you would like to make a fist rather than have your palms down, that is just fine. Just listen to your body, whatever is more comfortable for you. Once you are here, I want you just to draw little circles through your hips for me and just rolling through the hips any direction that you would like. And now let's reverse that and just taking it back the other way. Okay, let's make that a little bit bigger. So I want you to come all the way back down towards your heels, come across the body, and drawing that bigger circle. And now let's add some breath. So inhale as you roll halfway and exhale as you finish that off. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's reverse that from here. I want you to inhale as you bring that down and exhale finishing it on. Inhale and exhale. And just holding it there. From this position, I want you to stick your bottom up, look up for me, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, just roll through the spine, relax the neck and tuck the tailbone under. Inhale as you roll back through the spine, tilt the pelvis and look up, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And just holding it here. Okay, from here, just bring one foot out to the side, just turn to look at your foot. Inhale to the center and exhale, turn the other way. Inhale and exhale. Keep that going for me. Listen to your breath. And as you exhale, gently drive the hip out to the side. And two to go. Exhale and inhale, making this your last one. Okay, holding it here, keep your toes curled under. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, push your hands and toes into the floor and hover just above the floor. And when you're ready, inhale and release that. Again, exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale as you release. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale and release. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, release. And last one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale and exhale. Place the front of your feet on the floor. Just bring your bottom back toward your heels. Fully extend those arms in front for me and just bringing your forehead down toward the floor and just holding that stretch for me. Okay, just coming back up onto all fours for me. Curl your toes under and holding that position for me, I want you to squeeze your bottom cheeks together, draw your abdominals toward your lower back, squeeze your inner thighs together, 
take a breath in for preparation. And as you breathe out, just lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Now, if you need to take that towel, just bring that towel out. So from this position, I want you to bring your feet into a pigeon toe position. And from here, I want you to lift your chest off the floor and just bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. Take a breath in. As you're ready to breathe out, I want you to push into your hands and inhale as you release. And again, exhale, push into your hands and inhale as you release. Three to go. Exhale and inhale. Two more. Exhale and inhale. And last one. And just bringing your hands down beside you. Open up the chest, retract the shoulders, reach your hands down towards your knees. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, lift your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together and inhale as you pace back to the floor. Exhale, lift and lengthen through the crown and inhale as you pace back down. Exhale, lift and inhale. Exhale, lift and inhale. Last one. Exhale, lift. Inhale and exhale. So from here, just popping your hands beside your shoulders. Keep your knees on the floor, curl your toes under, take a breath in, and as you breathe out, push your hands into the floor and sitting up for me. Now you may want to use your yoga block in this section. So if you are tight through the back of the legs or lower back, feel free to sit on a yoga block for me. And we're going to start with our feet just a little bit apart. Open up the chest, chin tuck, thumbs on sternum, shoulders set down, take a breath in. As you breathe out, just twist the torso. Inhale to the centre, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two to go. And last one. And relax. Now bringing those legs out for me. And I want your knees straight, feet flexed. Sit up nice and tall. And just open up through the chest, shoulders set back, elbows soft. Inhale, twist the torso. And as you exhale, imagine you're reaching over an imaginary ball. Relax the neck. Inhale, stack through the spine. Exhale, reset to the centre. Inhale, twist. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Let's try it again. Inhale, twist. Exhale, reach. Inhale, and exhale. Twist, lengthen, stack, reset. Twist, lengthen, stack. Two to go. Twist. Lengthen and last one. Twist, lengthen and relax. Okay, just bringing those legs to the center. I just want you to point and flex your toes for me. Point and flex. And relax. Just bending those knees. Pop your yoga block out from underneath you. And when you are ready, I want you to sit up nice and tall, shoulders are back and down. Imagine someone's punched you in the belly and exhale as you pace all the way down to the floor for me. Once you are there, just make sure your chin is tucked, you can pop a cushion or your yoga block back underneath your head. Have your heels underneath your knees, open up your chest, retract your shoulders, reach your hands down towards your ankles. I want you to inhale as you gently imprint the lower back to the floor and exhale as you peel off one vertebra at a time. Inhale, come onto the balls of your feet. 
and exhale, lower those heels to the floor. Inhale, bring those arms behind you. And as you exhale, slowly pace one vertebra at a time, back down to the floor. Inhale, bring those arms over your head to your side and exhale. Inhale, gently imprint the lower back to the floor. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under and peel off all the way up into what we call ski slope. This time as you inhale, come onto the balls of your feet and float your arms behind you. And exhale as you pace, keeping up on the balls of your feet. Inhale, float your arms over your head to your side. Exhale, lower your heels to the floor. Try that again. Inhale, gently imprint your lower back. Exhale, peel off one vertebra at a time. Raise those hips up, squeeze your bottom cheeks. Inhale, come onto the balls of your feet, float your arms behind you. And as you exhale, slowly pace one vertebra at a time down to the floor. Inhale, float your arms over your head to your side and exhale, lower those heels down to the floor. Let's bring our feet together, bring our heels in quite close to what we call our sit bones. Bring your arms out shoulder height, have your palms face toward each other. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, lower both those legs to your right and turn your head toward your left shoulder. Now inhale, come through the center, and as you exhale, lower those legs to the left and turn your head toward your right. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two to go. Last one. Okay, when you've done that last one, come back to the center for me. Turn your palms toward the, the ankles. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, bring the back of your hands toward the floor. Now inhale as you do rotation and palms coming down to the floor. And exhale as you do rotation, back of hands on the floor. Let's continue with that for me. Rotation through the shoulders. When your palms are down, just bringing your hands back down by your side for me. Now take a breath in here and as you breathe out, just turn your head toward one shoulder. Inhale to the center, exhale the other way. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two to go. And last one. Alrighty, just giving both those knees a hug for me, just doing some ankle rolls and rolling it back the other way. Point and flex. Lift your head and shoulders off the floor, tuck your chin, roly poly backward and forward on your spine for me. And when you're ready, coming all the way back up. Well, thanks everybody for joining me today. If you would like some free training, be sure to click on the link below where I have done a three-part video series showing women over the age of 50 how to be able to lose weight. Okay, thanks for joining me and I'll see you for our next workout.